Here's a little throwback video that I just had to do. I had to grab this video before it disappeared from YouTube for some reason. Um, this is back in August of 2021. This is Tyler, Generation 2434, one of the more popular watch liars. He has tens of thousands of subscribers by this point. And Tyler and the watch liar community are really riding a wave here. If you think back to the summer of 21, you know, we we're in the midst of vaccine mandates, potentially lots of controversy, lots of uh, COVID fear, lots of fear of big government. People were scared. Some Christians, those who are rapture idolaters and escapists, they really want to escape the, the problems of life and go to heaven, don't we all? But they're really fixated on it. They were flocking to these channels because these channels were promising them in the name of God that they would soon be raptured. And man, were these guys enjoying a, a wave of popularity. They were just loving every second of it, just eating it up. And this video here is a very poignant demonstration of something that is at the core of what's wrong with these people. The entire community is built around the entertainment value that these people get, the watch people get, when they tell their audience, you're out of here soon. Don't worry about the problems of life. Not because Jesus is here for you. Not because you have the Holy Spirit. Not because you have power and there's power in the gospel. Or, you know, be faithful in tribulation and trial because trials work patience in the believer and, and make us better make us better believers. And God has a plan for that trial. No, that's not what we want to hear. We want people to tell us we're out of here. That's why we hired you. So please keep doing that. Otherwise we won't watch you. Right? So they're enjoying this surge of popularity. So here it is again. It's August, 2021. Listen to how excited this guy is. And the, the excitement is palpable. He builds the tension it's pure entertainment, and I'll, I'll comment here. I'm going to let him chatter here for a second, then I'll comment some more. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm uh, at a friend's place, and I'm doing a special live stream with a friend that I think you guys might know. And so we just wanted to get together and have fellowship with you guys. You know, Hebrews 10, 25, encourage one another as you see that day approaching. I think that's something that's on my heart as well as my friend's heart here. And so we just want to be here together with you guys and, and chat a little bit about the end times and say hello. So here's my friend here. His name's Barry Scarborough. Some of you might know him. What's up, guys? How's it going, brother? How are you doing? Man, it's good. So good to wow. have you to be here with you. Yeah, it's good to have you. So. Wow, the two superstars in one room. I, I mean, they just... <clears throat> Is it not obvious how excited... He is to reveal the another superstar rapture idolater. It's a little bit like a super group. And um, he knows. So you can almost feel what they're thinking. And, and I'm, I'm probably right. The two of them, they're on a live stream here. And the two of them, it's almost like they expect their, their audience to go completely nuts. They want their screaming fans, their adoring fans to really enjoy this. And if you just look at the comments, so here's Kim Gibbler, the second Barry is revealed next to Tyler. Like, oh my, I don't know if I can take it. I'm overwhelmed. What? She says, Barry, Barry, goodness, Barry. I'm going to play so this can uh, scroll by here and we can see. Oh, I love Barry. No way, someone says. Wow. Someone says, Barry with a bunch of hearts from Jessica Ann. I'm sure Barry's just going to let that one go, you know. I mean, a, a woman, he's a married man. And she's, oh, Barry, look at all the little hearts I posted for you, Barry. Minister Barry, right? Oh, yay. Watch this one go by here from uh, uh, this person here. Look at all this. Look at all the love. Such a blessing. Here comes Kim Gibbler again. Better than movie stars, she says. Now, let me ask you a question. Could these guys have stopped the, the stream there for a second or stopped the chat and said, hey, hey, hold on a second. Um, Kim, Kim Gibbler, I, 
hey, I, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching the videos. You know, we're not movie stars. We're not better than movie stars. We're just servants of the Lord. We're here to glorify Jesus Christ. I appreciate your support, but, you know, it really makes me uncomfortable when people talk that way. I, I, I wish you would give glory to Christ instead of to me. Um, moderators, if you, if you see another um, chat like that, come by, you know, please just, you know, take it down. Just remove it. You don't have to remove them. Just take that one particular chat down. No, no, they let that go through. Meanwhile, if anyone dares to come on the live stream and just says, you know, hey, I, I really think that the rapture is post-trib. I mean, they're immediately deleted. They find all of those better than movie stars. Yay, Barry, we miss you so much. Oh, look at all. So just the adulation and the, and the outpouring of really fandom. I mean, they have fans. They have a nice little club of fans. And they sit at the top of the Rapture Watching Club. And they get to enjoy every second of it. Isn't it just so wonderful? And this is, so again, this shows you all you need to know about what these people are really about. If they saw Joel Osteen walk into an auditorium and a whole crowd of women rushed over to Joel and started asking him for his autograph and, and, and screaming his name and like, we love you, Joel. And like, you know, they would rightfully say, my goodness, this isn't right. This guy's supposed to represent the Lord Jesus Christ in the Bible. And he's a minister. He, he's not a, a rock star. This is disgusting. Why are these people acting this way? But yet people do it to them. And they're like, this is great. They, this is great that they love me. A am, I, am I wrong? What am I missing here? Where do you find a, th a single shred of biblical evidence that this type of behavior is acceptable to God and much less pleasing to God that he really wants this from his people. He has commanded, according to Pete Garcia and other liars, God has commanded us to watch. That means he's commanded me and my buddies to create large audiences of people who are big fans of us who love us because we tell them what they want to hear. Talk about the Pied Piper, right? Is that in the Bible somewhere? Is that what watching is? Love to hear your feedback. Thanks, guys.